Hello everyone, this is Saurabh Kumar and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel where in today's video I am going to discuss about how to configure RIP if you are using IP version 6 in your network. So I will be taking an example of two network or maybe three network where I am going to implement IP version 6 and we will see how we are going to implement router RIP so that they can communicate to each other. So uh, I have not set already the IP address because I wanted to show it in the video itself. So I am planning to have the IP address something like that. You can see from here that in this network I am going to actually make a network at this side. So I want to have a network at this area and where the IP address I am going to use that is 2001 column column and maybe I will use here just A for identity that this is my A network and then double column I can use 1, 2, 3 whatever IP I want. So this uh, I guess you already aware about it uh, if this uh, option comes in your IP address it represents already so many number of groups of uh, continuously zero groups. So uh, I am just going to use maybe the network where my network ID is 2001 column column A and then whatever here I will put I will be just using as a host ID and then I am going to use prefix length of 64. The meaning is out of this 128 uh, bit of IP address first 64 bit is going to represent my network and the remaining rest 64 bit will be representing my host. So here I have decided to use 2001 A and then column column 2 here I have used column column 3. Here I have changed you see now after one column only I have changed the value to C that means it is my different network. So similarly I am going to implement this IP address so let's do it first of all. So what I am going to do now here is I go to this machine and at that machine here I set the IP address and that IP address I am going to use here is IP version 6 so it will be 2001 column A column column 2 then the prefix length I am going to use here is 64 and then the gateway will be my router IP address so maybe I will use 2001 column A column column 1 so this is my plan is now let's do the same here also so I go to desktop IP configuration IP version 6 2001 column A column column 3 so, uh, prefix length 64 then 2001 column A column column 1 that is my default gateway. Here I go to this machine desktop IP configuration IP version 6 2001 column C column column 2 and here it is going to be 64 2001 column C column column 3 sorry it will be 1 for a gateway and I go to this machine also desktop IP configuration IP version 6 2001 column C column column 3 or maybe 4 I don't know what IP I have used so let me use here 3 and I will just verify once again 64 and here I am going to use 2001 column C column column 1 let me just verify I don't remember that what IP I have used have I used right yes so now I am going to just connect this through the cable so I just go to the cable option I make them connected now I have already two networks so now to make them connected maybe I can use one router also or I can use two router also so just to have a router RIP configuration let me pick, pick two router first of all one thing you always keep in your mind that if you are using packet tracer to demonstrate this practical or to do the practice of this particular practical always go for the model of the router which is like 29 series so that will be supporting you IP version 6 so let's just uh, let me pick this 2911 series router so I go to this router and first of all I need to have some serial port so for that purpose I switch off I get the serial port here switch it on and then I am gonna copy this router because I need one more router with the same serial port so I can paste it here also now uh, I am going to connect first of all so I go to the cable I choose here serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 then I get the cable which I am going to connect to the switch so it is gigabit it doesn't have any fast ethernet port so that's okay the same I do here also I pick a 
gigabit port connect to the switch now I am going to set first of all the IP address on the router so according to my plan what I am going to do is on the first Ethernet port I will be using 2001 column A column column 1 but on the serial maybe I will be using 2001 column B so that the network gets changed then column column 1 here I am going to also use 2001 column B column column maybe 2 and on the first Ethernet port I am going to use 2001 column C column column 1 so this is what my network plan is so I am going to this router let me first of all set the IP address and all enable conf t interface gigabit 0 slash 0 the IP address I want to use so here when you are setting IP address version number uh, 6 you will not be using IP address what you will be using here is IP version 6 like that then you will be putting IP uh, sorry address and then here you will type the address whatever address you want to use with the slash notation means prefix length also so here I am going to use 2001 column A column column 1 slash 64 a space question mark you can check also if anything required otherwise we don't need for night right now and then I just say no shutdown to make this port up so this way I have set a IP address on the gigabit port of the router now let's do the changes for the serial port so for that I go to serial a 0 slash 0 slash 0 then IP version 6 address and I want to use here 2001 column B column column 1 slash 64 here also let me also set the clock rate because it is my serial port where I have the DC end so clock rate 64,000 then also no shutdown so this way I am done with this router let me even save it permanently then I go to the another router and let's see what we are going to do here is we are also going to first of all set the IP address so for that I go to the global configuration modes interface gigabit 0 slash 0 IP uh, v6 and then address and address I am going to use for gigabit is 2001 column C column column 1 slash 64 no shutdown then I do serial so I go to serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and here I am going to use again IP version 6 address and the address for serial is 2001 column B column column 2 slash 64 no shutdown so this way I am done with setting the first of all IP address once the IP address setting is done we can even verify that uh, the this all of those computer which belongs to the same network they are able to communicate to each other plus they are even able to reach from the computer up to the gateway same if you can check from here also any of the machine from this network is able to reach to the gateway and even both of this router will be able to communicate because they belongs to the same network range but once I try to check the communication from this PC up to this PC it is going to be failed because we need to implement the routing over there so according to our plan in this video we are going to implement RIP now so to configure RIP protocol here I will be just going to first of all one of them on the router I go to global configuration mode very first command I need to do that is IPv6 unicast routing that will make sure that this particular router uh, starts supporting IP version 6 routing so first command is required IP version 6 unicast hyphen routing now the second command we are going to define which kind of routing I want so for that I am just going to say here IP version 6 router space and then which protocol you want you can put question mark it support EIGRP OSPF RIP so you can implement any one of them and after uh, giving the protocol name you have to just give a keyword which will be giving a kind of identity to this RIP so I can use any word or any name there so let me use maybe my uh, RIP name I want to just give that is Saurabh 
so once i enable that means already reap is enabled on this router but which port will be participating in the reap broadcast message that we have to now define here so for that you go to the port which you want to be participating in the reap you go to that particular interface and there you are just going to run one command that will be ip version 6 a space reap a space the same name which you have given to the reap and then here, here you are going to just say enable means you want to enable reap with this name on this interface so done similarly i have to go to now interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 also i have to also type the same command ipv6 a space reap a space the name of the reap which you have given a space enable so that was two command required here by going on both of the port and then enabling the reap going to the serial port and enabling the reap so i'm done on this router now i'm remaining to do on this router so i go to this router also similarly same command i will be following here as well so i go to first of all ip v6 then unicast routing that is the first command then ip v6 then router a space reap and then i can also give here any name uh, it can be same name also it can be different name also it's up to you for me i'm just going to use the same name and then i go to each and every interface of it which you want to make them participate in the rip broadcast message so here i go and then i say ipv6 a space and rip a space the name a space enable similarly now i go to <coughs> sorry serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 there also ip version 6 space repeat the name and then enable so this is how we have enabled now reap on both of the router and after enabling the reap we have also mentioned over there that what are the ports or interface which will be participating into the reap communication so now we can test after setting this all I test from any of this machine to this machine you can see the communication is successful you can again check from here to here also connection is successful that means our reap is working you can even test from there so generally it will not be giving you same result as the IP version 4 reap gives you but you can try you can check here by pressing so protocol protocol and it's supposed to be showing you what kind of protocol you are using so here it is saying me internet protocol routing is enabled on this machine and here it is also going to give me some information about the interface so let me test now how many number of routes it knows and from where so so ip root so now here currently there is no any kind of root is there one more thing let's test so a space ip v6 then we check here root so you can see now in ip version 6 it has a root it knows some root and what are the uh, roots it knows so it knows this root because of it is directly connected it knows this root which is directly connected and then it is also getting this c root now because of the reap because of the r here you can see so this is how we have configured the uh, reap now on all of them you can verify from here because we are on the router number one so uh, network a it knows directly connected b it knows directly connected and c it knows because of the reap so that was all about in this video i have tried to show you how you can implement ip version 6 in your network and by using ip version 6 if you want to make them communicate through the reap how you can configure reap on the router with ip version 6 so i hope this video has been informative for you all and i would like to thank you for watching